Cause I feel life starts to change and love on the day we call me oh baby fell I know you hate me talk to me crazy we could just run a church Good morning so I had this realization last night that I will be seeing NCT Dream this week as in in a couple of days and I thought I had just so much more time I did not realize it was approaching so soon I did not know it was next week or this week technically um I have nothing prepared I thought I had so much more time I did just like come back from spring break and I'm still like trying to unpack for my Spain trip so I like I'm still like out of whack and I was not expecting this I'm painting my nails today I'll be painting it this green this really bright green color which is like perfect for nct dream i also have my little nail kit set here i'll be painting my nails right now um you know i have like no outfits prepared for the trip i was like looking at inspo but i thought i thought i had time to like plan out my outfit but i don't so i just like primed a couple of items um off amazon last night i think i like bought like three tops i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet I just bought them all and I don't even think one of them is going to arrive in time so yeah this is just also very last minute but it's okay <laughs> I'm seeing a single dream So I've been avoiding watching concert videos or just like spoilers of what songs are going to be performing at the concert because I kind of want it to be like a little surprise for myself when I am at the concert although I'm not doing a very good job at it because every time it pops up on my for you page like I'm not gonna not watch the video you know I know a couple of the songs are gonna perform and like some of them are obviously like more obvious in including beatbox i know for a fact they're gonna be performing beatbox and you know since they did just release um the english version they're probably gonna be performing the english version however i only know the korean version so i will be studying the english version these next two days So I just got back from school and it's so late right now, but my Amazon package is here one day before the freaking concert. I ordered four items only to arrive on time, which is why I ordered that many because you never know which is going to arrive on time or not. I'm hoping one of them fits me and I can actually wear it to the concert. If not, I'm going to need a, I'm gonna need a backup. The first one is a... Uh, it's very basic. I'm sure you've seen tops like this before and then you kind of just like tie the front and I'd probably just wear this with like some ripped jeans or whatever. The other one is like, I was trying to like find something different. I saw an outfit on Pinterest because I was looking for outfit inspo. I saw somebody wearing a green blazer. I don't know what outfit I could do with this. I could do like some sort of like skirt with it maybe, but I don't have really any skirt. And I don't know if I want to wear a skirt to the concert. Like, I'm also, because it's in the concert, it's like 8 at night. Um, I don't know if it's going to be cold, but then again, like, right now it's like, what, 9 o'clock and it's so hot outside still. So maybe I will wear a blazer. Yeah, I'm going to just try the outfits after I eat dinner really quickly. <laughs> so here's the first outfit. It's very basic. You know, just a, like, kind of crop top with some ripped jeans. It's, it's cute. Very basic. Let's see. Yay! Yay! Ah! Okay. I think it'll keep me warm enough tomorrow too. This is essentially the outfit. The look. This is the next potential outfit. Um, the blazer isn't the exact shade of green. It's not very neo-green, you know? It's more like a minty green, I think. A 
and it's like a legit blazer like there are padding on the sleeves which i was not expecting I was just looking through my closet and i realized i do have a lot of green clothing items that i totally forgot about i have this green top what maybe i'll wear this the pants who knows i have this pair of pants which i think this would be really cute too however i did already wear this outfit for one of my trips so i'm like can i reuse this outfit and i have a skirt because you know it's cute it's green but like do i want to wear a skirt to a concert and then this one i i kind of bought it for the reason of like one day being able to wear it's like an nct concert you know this is like green plaid dress but it's not gonna be comfortable at a concert but it's so cute and i haven't really had the opportunity to wear it anywhere else what do we think about this one i feel like i'm too green this is so green and kind of princessy I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it's very green. <laughs> very green here too, but I feel like this is more acceptable. No? No? Is the green too much? Too much green? Oh, I even forgot to show you guys. I had this green headband that I was also gonna plan on wearing. I'm so green. Is am I too green? Like, please. Like, am I too green? I don't know. some of my beads here. I'm planning on making a little bracelet. A symbol. Please do not look at the mess behind me. That is my room. Um, I probably will clean it up soon. It's just messy right now. But I'm about to take out my braids, do a hair reveal. But I'm gonna add some heat to it first because my like braids just like waves curls just don't hold in my hair at all um it's never held and it never will it like gets straight after an hour heat or without heat with hairspray or without hairspray like my hair is just pinned straight you know all this prep i'm gonna look like a mess during the concert it's eight hours like in like three and a half hours in the car and then probably another, like, another four hours in the heat waiting for um merch not process the fact that the concert today i like i'm not freaking out as much as it was yesterday or like the day before i don't know i don't feel real you know but i am really excited to see them i waited over two years for this okay i've been waiting for nct world tour and here i have it oh my god today's the day i can't believe it take out the braids oh my god let's do this side first it's a little wavy I know we love the tight small curls, but we're working with it. Does this may ever even work? But why is it? Oh, I broke the cap. Finishing touch is my headband. Bloop. Okay, and we're done. I'm putting it back because I'm about to do some mm, makeup. I know nothing about makeup. I don't really know how to do makeup because I don't wear makeup, but I'm gonna just like try to conceal my acne a little bit for the concert. Um, I also even have a little eyebrow pencil. Oh my, I can't. Is it, is it starting to like actually, I 
think it's actually starting to sink in now um but i'm gonna be seeing a cookie dream i'm excited to see what songs they're gonna perform i know they're gonna perform some like the more obvious one like oh i know for a fact they're performing candy on twitter i keep seeing yeah by the way i redownloaded twitter just for nct dream but on twitter i keep seeing that there's like a chenji saga going on right now during candy and i'm excited to see what they're gonna do today also mark's been talking about um possibly changing up his hair yesterday he was on live with jamie but before i think he was talking about possibly getting rid of his long long hair his long hair era is over he said that he's gonna probably cut off his long hair and i don't know if that's gonna be today next week or when on the tour so i'm gonna mentally prepare myself i look really bad this is really bad like i don't i'm telling you i don't know what to do with myself i don't feel like this looks weird it's gonna look weird. Anyways, let me just move on to concealer right now. That's what I was saying about the songs. But there are some songs that I would love to see them perform that I'm not so sure if they are gonna perform. Once in Three is like one of my favorite NCT songs. One of my like favorite performances too. They're not gonna perform that song. I know that for a fact. There's no way. But uh, other songs that might have a chance of seeing is uh, I've always wanted to see Boom Life. So. I think they will because it's like one of their more popular title tracks. Um, I want to see writing just so I can hear like Jisun's little go go. Ah, it's so cute. It's like my favorite part. And I'm really excited for Candy because Renjun has this like, you know, the part where he sits on the floor and bounces like that really cute part. One of my favorite songs on like their more like newer albums is By My First. I love that song. Would love to see them perform it. I don't know. There's probably no dance to it, but like just hearing them sing it. Ugh, I love that song. Maybe like um Fire Alarm and Arcade. Those two would love to see them perform it too. And I also am obsessed with their uh, first Japanese song, um Best Friend Ever. I think perform that like I really hope they do, but I doubt it because it is a Japanese song. But I love that song. If they perform it, I might cry. Oh, speaking of cry, like if they start playing like graduation, I will cry. Dear Dream, I will cry. Do you think they'll be singing sad songs? They have to, right? They they've gotta. Like, oh my god, I might cry if they actually do. Oh fuck, I forgot to apply primer. Anyways, I'm almost done. I'm just adding some mascara right now. Oh, and they're definitely gonna perform Fireflies. I know they're gonna perform it because that's like one of the only songs I kind of know all the lyrics to because it is in English. I know I said I was gonna study English lyrics of beatbox, but I have not been doing that. So I'll be listening to that the whole time during my three and a half hour car ride to New York. I think I'm done. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on some lip tint today. Give me special. Give me extra, you know. Should I moisturize it first? Oh, I think I should have moisturized my face first, too. Anyways, I'm gonna just apply it. <laughs> it tastes good, but can you see it? I don't know if I like the pink. Well, it's on my face. So this is how the bracelet turned out. It's giving Green Rich, like... Hello Future vibes, but yeah, I think it's so cute. I ended up switching out the beats because the other one was way too small. ta -da! Isn't this so cute? It's so cute. Oh, should I wear this one too? It's just green. I don't know. Just wanted to add it on, maybe. Giving like, um, We Young vibes? I don't know. So this is the bag that I'm bringing. It has my Jisung PC already on here. And in it, I'm not packing much. I'm just packing my wallet. My cheese wallet is in it so cute. And I have this photo uh Polaroid of G Song in here. And then I have my AirPods and my keys. And I think that's all I'm gonna bring. Other than my portable charger. I don't need much. But like I like the having a bag gives me security, you know. I feel like I feel more secure with a bag. I'd also like to take this moment to flex my NCT Dream pin. I think I'm gonna put it right dab right here. You know, I'm scared I'm gonna lose it, but I'm hoping I don't. Yeah, right here, right here. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, update. It's been like an hour or so, maybe two, since I took out my braids. And look, look at 
look how straight it's gotten. This is with so much hairspray. Anyways, more of an update. We were supposed to leave at 12. It is currently 1.30 and they're on a way to pick me up. And I'm just waiting. The driver overslept and they had to like go knock on his door. So that's what's happening.
Hey guys, as I'm editing this, I realized that um, I really did not film at all after the concert because let's just say a lot of things went down, but I will be explaining that later in the video. I had no clips to work with, so here I am going to tell you about what happened after the concert. So basically, we decided to go to New York because it was so close and um, the only the only thing the only picture I managed to get was this. I'm gonna insert it right here because this is the only goddamn picture I took. I don't even know why I took it. It's so random. But that's the only picture I have. And then we decided to go to a um, Korean restaurant that was open until 5. I think that was like one of the only restaurants open at the time. It was kind of overpriced and it's not that good. I'm gonna be honest. But you know, it was open and we went to eat there. Okay, I'll explain this later in the video too. But let's just say. As we were eating 10 minutes away from Times Square, guess who happened to be there? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Um, in the next clip, I back at home, I believe. Yeah. I'm not kidding when I say it is 5.37 a.m. I just got dropped off at my house. Um, I feel so dead. I look dead. <laughs> I look terrible. But yeah, I'm gonna change out of the PJs. And oh my god, I have a story to tell. Also, I'm like, getting a concert hoodie. <laughs> I might just brush my teeth and then knock out. Yeah, I'm not going to um, classes tomorrow or today, technically, in a couple hours. I don't feel like it, so I'll probably be skipping that too. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do that really quickly. I know I said I was gonna go sleep, but I'm watching a CD dream. Clearly, I am not sleepy. Oh, I have my neon lights right now, my green neon lights, and um, I just saw that SM posted a teaser for Mark's song that's coming out tomorrow. I was hoping to see like signs i think there was one if i was not mistaken there was one sign talking about golden hour but i was hoping that there was a sign or like somebody would ask him about it or he would mention it but he didn't but there's a teaser out right now excited to see a music video tomorrow i'm watching the teaser right now I kind of love it. I'm kind of in love with it. My mark looks so good. This it, it sounds good. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep now. See that? It's the sun rising. And I'm still watching my concert video. <laughs> hey guys. So it's been about a little over a week since the concert. It's been a while. I actually planned on filming this video much earlier, but then, you know, life got in the way. Things got in the way. I had an exam. My allergies were kicking in like full force. It was a rough week for me, but um, yeah, I'm finally here to talk about my experience, um, the whole concert experience, because let's just say once we got to the venue, like things just started getting like really hectic and crazy and I was just like all over the place, but where do I even start? Okay, so I guess I'll start with us getting to the, the concert venue. So we drove there. Um, I don't know why or how, but our car, li car ride ended up being a lot longer than I imagined, I think. Um, we ended up getting to the venue around 6.30, but they were only... The parking, like, they only allowed us to come in at 7, I think. So we just, like, sat in the parking lot for 30 minutes in the car before they finally let us into the parking space. And so by the time we got to the venue, it was, like, 7, like, late 7. And let's just say things were selling out. Mm. <laughs> because we got, like, seated tickets or whatever, the line was really quick. We were able to go through really quickly, and we got inside the venue. I'm not kidding when I tell you I went to every single one of the merch tables both upstairs and downstairs looking for a light stick and I did not get one and it was like two minutes before the concert and I was like well I went to all of them and they didn't have it so I was so devastated I was not able to get a light stick like I was so 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 sad and there was like one one of the um merch booth lines that I was in I was so close I think I was like the fourth person away and they announced that all light sticks were sold out and that was like my last chance of getting a light 
but instead of a lipstick i got this i got a, a zip up hoodie which i'm kind of happy about i love this hoodie like after the concert for days i just like wore this at home because i was so sad it's a beatbox zip up hoodie i wanted the zip up hoodie because i don't i don't technically have a black one me justifying the purchase because this was 90 dollars. the merch okay the merch was not the cutest i must say that um this was okay the t-shirts were not my favorite i really wanted a t-shirt um but they were just not they were not banging the, the other white hoodie was cute too but um i kind of regret not getting it actually now that i think about it i settled with this one and love it although let me show you the print in the back the picture quality it's a little interesting like mark looks a little scary here i like it a lot it's so cute a lot of them were beatbox themed though i will say that so we got to the venue march line whole ordeal did not have the time everything sold out so then we just headed straight to our seats like two minutes before the concert started sat down i was like low-key freaking out like i was low-key like ugh. i was like freaking out a little bit of course the concert started had our best time great time i was kind of blind through the concert and i'm for sure i'm 100 percent gonna do pit next time um i think i don't know maybe it was just the venue i was at maybe at the newark prudential center people didn't really do um pit so i'm thinking next time when i do do pit like i'm not i'm not one of those that like need to be in barricade you know like i do not need to pay, be in line for like 12 hours considering how small the pit was like i wouldn't have mind just chilling in the back you know watching the concert from there so i think that's gonna be my plan for next time i'm still actually a little scared though to do pit but like i've been into like i've only been to 2k pop concerts but in the k-pop concerts that i have been to seating like the view's not the best like half the time i couldn't see anything that was going on until like i watched my video over again i'm doing pit next time for sure anyways back to the story after the concert um even before the concert we were like making jokes in the car like ah ha ha let's go to new york let's go to times square like we're so close let's just go we actually did end up going so right after concert we just like dipped and headed to new york and we were joking because there was a van like speeding in front of us and we were like ah nct dreams in there follow them we didn't actually follow them we actually lost them like two minutes in <laughs> But like that car is really suspicious you know we went to find a place to eat we ended up at k-town and then oh my god this is when it happens right we were like let's go to times square but a couple of us were hungry so we're like okay let's go eat first as we sat down i'm not joking when i tell you the food just came out i took two bites my friend she was on twitter and she saw some like i think it was a fan site a geno fan site maybe post a picture nct dream was in times square we literally predicted this we were like they are 100 percent gonna go to times square like why would they not go to times square and yet we decided to go eat first instead of going to times square we were 10 minutes away from times square me and one other friend the rest of them were like you're not going we did not finish our food we got up and we dipped because the person just posted it i think it was like eight minutes ago on twitter we dipped instead of running 10 minutes because girl my lungs would have given out but we decided to take the metro the metro was eight minutes and then the other option was to run 10 minutes so it's like maybe we just ride the metro instead but the metro ended up taking a while to come um we got on the subway went there they were gone guys i almost oh so close we were so close we were like 10 minutes i think when we were there we saw like um a couple of other end citizens the, the there was a trio that was like dressed in all green and like wore the bucket hats you know the the iconic airport airport outfit look um we saw them there leaving and we're like fuck we missed them just wanted to see nct dream we're not crazy fans by the way we just like wanted to admire them from a distance you know just like be able to say like we saw nct dream at times square but that didn't happen it was really sad and then we walked around for a little bit and then took the metro back but let me just say oh my god in new york city at night like times square at night was the scariest experience of my life holy crap uh would not recommend stay safe out there guys um yeah we got back everybody had finished eating by that time so we just packed our food and i ate it at home and then like it was like a rough it was a rough like three and a half hour car ride back yeah, that was that i almost saw nct dream i was 10 minutes away like why didn't why didn't they decide to stop at k-town <laughs> then now i see on tiktok 
everywhere. They went to freaking perform at Santa Monica Beach and went to USC. What's the point of going to school if NCT Dream's not coming to mind, you know? Anyways, that's that. Sorry for my little rant. I wanted to show you guys um, a couple of N Citizens. Before the concert, like when I was waiting in the merch line, I thought all the freebies would be gone, but they were so sweet and they started handing out freebies. This one is a, uh, I think they handed out two little cards. There was a ring in here. I was wearing it and I think right now it's in my jewelry box. I, I'm gonna insert a picture of it later, but it was like two photo cards and you get like a random member. Guess what I got? Jesus, they're so sweet. I can't believe they were still handing out freebies by the time because we were like, we were literally so late to the venue. But then I also got this one, it's Hit Chance. Little, it was a pink one that I wanted of Hit Chance. I was like, oh, but I got this one. He still looks really cute here. There's also like stickers, and, like these little things in the back. They're so sweet. Oh, I love people who give off freebies. They're so sweet. If I had more time, I would have made some bracelets to so, like hand out. You know how like at, um, what's it called? What are they called? Raves? They like do the little bracelet thing. Like I would have, I would have handed out some bracelets. Uh, I was so sad after the concert. My post-concert depression was so bad. Like no joke. Like I missed them so much, so bad. I was looking up tickets, including plane ticket and um concert ticket price. If it was under four hundred dollars, I would have gone because I paid like around like three fifty, a little over three fifty, um for this concert. If it was under 400 I would have gone to one of their other shows, but I was looking at the plane tickets and they were really expensive. And I don't know why, but I think maybe it was just Newark. Um, the tickets went down a lot. As I was looking for other ticket prices venues, those were like not going down. <laughs> they were still pretty expensive. I think my ticket ended up dropping like to 180 when I paid like 300 for mine. I don't know, Ticketmaster was kind of scanning us out at that time, but... Yeah, I miss them so bad. Um, they said they're coming back, so they better come back soon. Or I might just go to Korea to see them. <laughs> that's the plan, that's the plan. That's it, that's it for the video, I think. Am I done rambling? I think I'm done rambling. Okay, yeah, they were amazing. I miss them so much. They better come back soon. <sighs> yeah, and I better be getting a next light stick next time.